Okay, we couldn't have uh, completed this story uh, with, uh, without speaking to uh, Dodu, the uh, uh, virtually impaired. I called him this evening. I said, uh, Dodu, have you heard what has happened? He said, oh, Nasalan. I said, oh. <laughs> I said, okay, let's meet in the studio and discuss it. Good evening, sir. Good evening. The, my, my, the name, the way you mention it is like that, Dodu. Dodu. My, my own is the Achim own, Siakwa own. Which is Dodu? Yeah. Okay. So you're from Esiapa? Yeah, I'm from a, a proud Esiapa boy. Mm. You know, I, I share the same name with uh, Cameron Dudu, who also comes from Esiapa. I see. Okay. Uh, how did you receive this Anantia Martin statement? Okay, first of all, let me wish Mr. Fred Paria and son a happy birthday. I think uh, today is his birthday. The former MP for soon, let me wish him a great happy birthday. And may the Lord be with him. May the light of the Lord shine on him. And I think when I was... Not that shock, because the last time I heard anything about uh, Alan redrawing or resignation was also a Tuesday, which was 15 April 2008. And today being a Tuesday, I think it has some uh, significance. I, I don't know how you take it. So I was, I was, I was not that shocked. But I think the complaints that he is making, I think these were issues that could be solved. I don't know how, how he channeled his grievances and it was not solved. I, I, I think these are not issues that should have caused his resignation or his withdrawal, sorry. Mm -hmm. I think this, this should not be, this, 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 these issues should not be an issue to cause his, his withdrawal from the Reese. Well, but he is, we know that his um, Northeast representative was badly beaten. Yes. We know that. That's true. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. That's a fact. Yes, but is that not the basis why he will be but, but, concerned? But I think that is the, the that, that one is the only major issue. The rest of them are minor because he made mention of uh, the, the, the special delegate congress being uh, strategically and tactically schemed in favor of one candidate which I vehemently disagree with him because even in, 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 in 2014, 2014, where there was no so-called establishment candidate, uh, constituency chairman, regional chairman were declaring their support for one candidate. They went for the election. Uh, the special delegate congress, we all saw what happened. But he still contested the main congress. So I don't know whether, maybe, I believe he has done his research and he has seen that maybe uh, the same thing is going to happen in November. And then he also look at maybe the Asin of incident. And maybe that might have caused his decision to... What's the Asin of incident? Where he was speaking and uh, all of a sudden the vice president arrived and his microphone was taken away from him or something. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen now to Alan Chamartin? He's, he's indicated that he's going to broadcast uh, to determine... Uh, somebody sent me a text right now, and, and let, me, let me just read it. Uh, this, well, this is one of the guys who live in America. I said, Paul, watch this space. Eh? I think that Alan Chamartin may become John Muhammad's running mate. Oh, that's far-fetched. But somebody in America is sending me this uh, knee. He lives in uh, Chicago. He said, watch this space. I think Alan Chamartin may be preparing to be... John Muhammad's running mate, or you say a lie, that's what he says. Let, he, Alan has said that his future is going to be announced later this week. What are some of the things that you can guess would be the future that he's going to announce? Okay, either he will make an alliance with one of the candidates, or because I don't think if he decides to go out of the party of, or, and form his own party, or if he decides to even contest independent, I think it will not help him because if he contests as an independent candidate, well, he may succeed in maybe uh, distracting the party or making the party go opposition after the 2024 election. But that will also make him a political dinosaur. Well, so if he makes he runs as an independent candidate, you think he can pick five percent of the vote, three yeah, percent, two oh yeah, percent. Yeah, that one you can't down, you can't downplay that because we have we have a history, and you know, Mr. Paul. The UP tradition has always turned in division when it's come to election. In 1969, there was a division where Joe appeared. Joe appeared. People seem to forget that because at that time, Professor Buzia won the election. Nobody seems to talk about that one. There was a division. Joe appeared, 
went on his own. But he and lost it, miserably. Yeah, he Buzia lost miserably. Buzia was an overwhelming and candidate. And even, even 2000, 2000, where President Kufuor won, there was an Ashanti candidate. Oh, there was Raku Brobe. But there was Raku Brobe from uh, ah, who went to UGM. That's very interesting. Yes. I've not thought yes, about that. Yes. Raku Brobe, a member Ashanti, of the MPP. Yeah. So sometimes when I hear people talking about uh, Ashanti... Raku Brobe didn't get anything. The United yeah, Ghana movement. He didn't movement. get anything, yeah. UGM. But he said something that was significant. He said... His party motto was growing people for Ghana's development. It was very significant. Oh, but Raku Bobe had broken away from the MPP in 2000 yeah, yeah, to yeah. fight on his own. Yeah. And he didn't win, but he came back to join the government. Yeah, he came back. So I think, I think the, uh, Mr. Alan Chamatin, uh, I believe, I don't know what he's going to say in the near future, but if he has decided to go out of the party, to go on his way, but he hasn't resigned from the party, by the way. Yeah, he hasn't yes. resigned from the yes, party. Yes, he has yes, withdrawn yes. from the race. From the race, but he's saying so maybe he may be announcing his resignation from the party. Do, we, do you think so? I I don't think so. I I I don't expect him to do that because it will not help him. Mm. Okay, let's come back to the race because we're running out of time. We have only ten minutes before eleven o'clock. Let's come back to the race. Yeah. Uh, what is going to happen now? So now, of what what are going to be the ramifications of Alan leaving there? So we're going to have four candidates on the ballot. Yeah, we are going. Balloting to have, occurs tomorrow. Yeah, Doctor Mahmoud Baumia, Honorable Kennedy Kwame Akumpere Kwe Japan, Doctor Uswe Fria Kutoin, uh, Mr. Francis Adenimo, and I think it will be a straight contest between Doctor Mahmoud Baumia and Honorable Kennedy Japan. And as to who Alan supporters decide to support, I think it will not make any much significant. In the upcoming November Congress, Alan supporters will, will not support Dr. Baumia. His statement says that the thing was skewed in favor of one candidate. We are all guessing that he's talking about Dr. Baumia. Yeah, I think maybe his front uh, run uh, front run supporters might not support Baumia, but for the those at the grassroots, you can't predict. Mm, because if you look at Alan and Honorable Kennedy Japon to until recently. Uh, Ken, Ken has not been in agreement with Alan because since 2007, Ken has been supporting Nana against Alan. But Ken was running because he didn't want Alan to be the heir apparent. Yes. And he doesn't also want Baumia to win. Ken was running because he yes. disagrees with the heir apparent situation of, yes, yes, of Alan yes, yes, Chematin. Yes, That's yes, fundamentally why he's running. Yes, yes, he yes, thinks yes. that Andrew Obia, so this party is not for anyone yes. who throw his hat in. Yes. Do you think that the Alan camp had been concerned or shaken? by the performance of Ken, defeating them to third position? Uh, uh, that one I think is true because looking at where Alan has come from since 2007, uh, 22nd December, then 2010, 2014, then Honorable Ken come from nowhere, then he get 132 and Alan got 95. I think it was a bit concerned and they, I believe there was a very big shake in that camp and they have done, maybe they have done something they have done their own research and see that uh, it might not go well for them in the upcoming November election. That is why I think he has redrawn from the competition. The other day, you, you criticized Alan's communication team, yes. and, uh, yeah. both on your interview with Joy FM and your interview here. You criticized. No, I, I think Kofi TV, rather. Oh, was it Kofi TV? Yeah. Now, on Joy FM, too, you did, didn't you? Uh, uh, maybe they pick it from. Uh, yeah. They must have picked it from Kofi TV, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you, you criticized here as well. Yeah. Uh, what. Do you blame the communication team for this? Yeah, Boabi and someone has been speaking this evening again. Have you heard him? Yes, I've heard him on Joy FM. What did he say? I think he was still doing what I advised him not to do. What did he do? Oh, he was still blaming the party. He was still saying those things that I always don't want him to say it. But I think Mr. Paul, Alan communication didn't help him and his advisors also didn't help him because they could not channel his message to the grassroots or to the party wall. They were just saying a drum and so, a drum and so, but they could not channel the real message that Alan was carrying. And Alan too has not been able to carve a constituency in the party for himself because since 2007, the people that he was working with, how can Alan be in a contest and somebody like Dr. Richard and they might not support him? That's an interesting one. Yeah. Or John Kuma. Yes. Or, or Chema or, to me. Or, 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 or even, uh, 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 I don't know whether uh, uh, this man, I've forgotten his name, Michael Lampon. I don't know whether he's still... Michael Lampon, yeah. sticker the MP for uh, Isaiso. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Honorable Stephen. 
they, they are all not supporting him. Because those, those guys were the people who started Channel Alan idea. Now, the, the 2007 group, the only person I can talk about left is the Empire so MP, Honorable OPK. And Nana Hininto? Yes. Nana at that time was a general secretary, but I think he has also been with you for a longer period of time. So, <laughs> this is very interesting. When you say Alan didn't carve, that's the final part. When you say Alan didn't carve a constituency for himself, yes, what does yes. it mean? Because, because in 2007, when he has uh, uh, lost the, this in the Congress, the day he declared he has resigned from the party, then uh, he came back. After the 2008 election, it seems to me that he was not even interested in Ghana politics again when he went to the WTO after the, he has lost the 2010, he lost the he went to the WTO, then he came back. 2012, we didn't see much of him. And the strategy Nanadu is was that when he they were not seeing much of him, Nanadu also took his time to take some of the people from Alan, people that he can convince, to come to their side. So in in, in 2007, Chairman to me when he was a constituency chairman, he was an Alan fan. By by 2014, people like Chairman to me, even the former Ashanti regional chairman, Honorable Yao Mankwa, all those people have neglected Alan. So is it that he's not able to, what, what is it? Is it that he has not been he's able He's attractive, to, definitely. Yeah, he's attractive yeah, as a yeah, politician. Yeah, yeah. But he's not able to keep the people. Yeah, he's not able to keep the people and he's not able to organize his base. Organize his base? Yeah. But you say he doesn't have any base in the party. Because he has not been able to do that. But why is he so attractive? Why was he so attractive in 2007? Because he's still attractive. Because at that time, he was the establishment candidate. Well, uh, but establishment candidate must do beyond just the establishment to win. Alan didn't win, we know that. Is that why he didn't win? No, because the, he, he, was, he was an establishment candidate, but he was fighting with someone who has been there for the party, someone who has carved a constituency for himself, someone even in, when his own family members deserted the tradition and go their way. He decided not to support. He decided to stay, stay neutral. So he has been able to cut people from both PFP side and the UNC side. But Alan only has PFP? Alan only have a but cross, Richard, Richard a Anane, cross, a cross session of the PFP. Richard Anane, is, it, doesn't, it doesn't get more PFP than Richard Anane, but he's supporting Baumia now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's supporting Baumia now. Because what would be the reason why Richard Anane will not back Alan I mean, well, Uso Fiyakoto is also very PFP. Yeah, but that one... But he's, he's on uh, his own now. He's for, not supporting Alan. For, for, for Dr. Anani on, I can discuss it with you secretly, but not publicly. Oh, you have the reason? Yes. Okay, so I'd like to hear that. Okay, let's...